Hey you guys, so it's your girl April and today's video is for a brand new lace front company which is called Eva Hair Wigs. I'll definitely link all of their information below for you guys. But I'll tell you all about them after I let you guys know what I'm using. So prior to this video, I had already went ahead and toned some hair. I did use the Wella Toner and T14 and a 30, a 30 volume developer for the wig prior to this one. And being that I had half of the bottle left, I didn't want to waste it. I don't like to waste anything. So I mixed it up with a brand new bottle of Wella Toner and T18 along with 20 developer. I'm really not sure what color I was going to get, but I do know that once you use Dirty Volume Developer, you will lift the color of the hair. So you guys, you just wanna make sure when you saturate or you do your wig or your hair, that you make sure that you saturate every strand, you know, that you decide that you need toned. You always wanna make sure that you get in between hairs and you also wanna make sure to comb it. You know, try to make sure that you comb it out really well so that way you'll see all up any dry hairs. So like I said, they are a brand new lace wig company. Their name's Eva Hair Wig, and they do have some really affordable wigs. This wig that they did send me was their Brazilian Remy 18 inch water wave 13 by four lace front and it is 150% density. And like I said, it is it is 18 inches and also it had a pre-plucked hairline, which was amazing. I do think that it did come with elastic. I'm not really sure because I couldn't find the beginning footage of other stuff that was in the box, but I'll definitely link it below. Now you guys, this wig was actually only $131. So for $131, you get a really nice high quality wig like this. Plus, there is a $20 off coupon code in the description box, so you can definitely use that and get you something really, really nice. I think this is great, like you can always find like a good wig company that has like really affordable units and their quality is good. Like seriously, they start to look all the same, so I wouldn't really wanna pay too much of a high price versus something in the lower price range. So the lace is really good on this and I actually do like it. What's up, love? So, you guys, oh, I was already doing some hair, you know what I'm saying? And I don't really like to waste anything, especially product. Like, hair products are really not that cheap. And if I have, like, half of a batch of it left, then I'm trying to use it all. Like, seriously, I will put it on myself if I could. But I was finishing up a wig, and the wig was already, like, saturated with enough of the product of the Willa Toner, which was the tea. 14. So I had enough product left, like half. And I said to myself, April, what are you going to do with this? So I said, you know what? You have one more box of the T18. Why don't you just mix it together and just use the T18 along with the T14? So I had half of a T14 with the 30 developer, and then I had a whole bottle of T18 with the 20 developer. And then I just, you know, lifted it with the toner. But I didn't um, tweeze it or anything. I didn't bleach the knots or nothing like that. I just, you know, colored it. So this is what the wig came out to look like. And it's so pretty. Like, it came out really pretty. So I just colored it. And that bottle was enough. 18 inches, 130% density. It's Brazilian water wave. Um, so it's wavy. It's really cute. It's 18 inches. Um none of the curls fell when i brushed the hair out like to just condition it it did shed not excessively but it shed like i think this lace is like medium brown because it looks a little bit dark for me um just putting it up against my skin it looks a little bit dark for me so hopefully this works out um it already is pre-plucked for you at the hairline so i didn't even want to do anything so i really didn't have to do much um, and the knots are really not that bad at all. So you really don't have to do anything. And you know, it has its standard combs. It has three combs in the front and then it has the comb and the adjustable strap in the back. And let's this... just go ahead and style this wig. All right, you guys. So let's go ahead and just apply this wig. So as you guys see, the lace is brown on it. So it really is not my skin complexion, which is going to be a challenge for me to, you know, blend in, but we'll see, you know, there's always makeup. So like I tell you guys always, I love smaller scissors and I like them to be curved because you get a nicer cut versus like a straight pair of huge scissors. So, you know, go to your local Walmart, craft store or Target and get yourselves a nice pair of short, small curved scissors. So you guys, I really did leave some, I left some lace on the edges because I didn't want my hairs to be like directly on the edge of the lace because when you do that, your 
hairs or baby hairs or whatever will fall out eventually. So you wanna make sure that you leave a little bit of lace for some wiggle room, whatever you wanna call it, just so that way you're safe and your hairs don't fall out. So I did make a couple of uh, strands shorter just for some baby hairs just in case and I used my eyebrow trimmer and you guys already know the drill and if you don't and you're new to my channel, this is one of my favorite hair styling mousses which is Salon Selectives and it's only a dollar at the Dollar Tree, okay? I absolutely love it. I use it to sculpt down my baby hairs as well as some of the hair but to hold my wig in place I only use super holds by pump it up so pump it up super hold or pump it up gold and the super hold formula not the regular and if I use this my wig will stay on for a few days like it all depends on how well I take care of it but I did have on a wig for like four days this week without any retouch. The only per issue that I may have a run across is I just have to retouch the sideburns. But other than that, the wig does stay on. So you guys, as you guys see, the lace is brown, which, you know, I really was not too upset about it because like I said, it's, it's makeup, you know, you can always like change it up. You do wanna make sure you blow dry the product or you can just use a scarf or a head tie for about 10 minutes. But anyway, so as you guys see, I'm just gonna do my best to doctor up the hairline with this wig and cover up the brown in it. And you guys can be the judge. I'm down to be the kind of secret you can keep. Down to be the kind of secret you can keep. I'ma make you feel, I'ma make you feel. For me, I'll make you say, All right, you guys. All right. First of all, let me tell you, I got a toothache. Like you would not believe right now. I feel like I got all the pain on this side of my head. Oh, uh, you ever have a toothache and you just try to annoy it, ignore it, and it's like, okay, you know I'm still here. You know I'm still here. So I like the color a lot. Like it came out so pretty, like super pretty. I really do like this color a lot. Like, but I like the way it came out. The only issue that I'm having right about now is that the lace is dark brown. Like this is not even a medium brown lace. It's a dark brown lace. I've doctored it up as much as I could. You know, I wish they would have sent me the right color lace. Um, it's definitely not my color. You guys have seen that. As soon as I put it on, like it was way not my color. But a light brown will be like dead on perfect for me. If you give me transparent, I'm really happy then. Like, okay, I do. But I mean, I do like it. Like the, the curls is still pretty and popping in, and the color is gorgeous. Like it's this beautiful, like autumn color. I mean, it doesn't have to be autumn. It can be still summer color. The color is just gorgeous way around, all around. And plus, I like the length of it. And even if it is 130 density, let me tell y'all. You don't need it to be too much because it's curly, so you can definitely just take your fingers and fluff it up. And the length is so, like, believable. Like, I, I, I like long hair. Don't get me wrong. I do. I used to be, like, the number one fan of blonde, long hair. Like, that's all I would wear would be long hair, like, nothing else. Like, this probably would be, like, just making it for me, but I would definitely have to be, like, all the way down here. Now, I don't really like to wear hair that long because, for one, it doesn't catch that much body, like, especially if it's, like, body weight. It's so limp. Like, you have to do a lot to make it really, really full, and I'm just not really into that. Plus, it kind of looks like it's unnatural or it tangles more, and I don't even have time for that. Plus, I don't know. I think as you get older, you just probably don't want it so long, depending on what you're in the mood for or the event but if i have to wear like a wig like on a daily single basis like this length is like perfect for me like but the hair is nice like it's so soft it's beautiful um is it affordable so it starts off at 92 dollars. okay it's good quality um if they have a coupon code then i'll definitely link it below but it held up like you know for it to be having chemicals in it it definitely held up and I like that. I just wish they would have gotten a lace color, right? Okay, like, you know. I mean, you could definitely doctor it up and stuff. I hooked it up. A girl did hook it up. But, yeah, this is this is a nice wig. So, Elva Hair. 
18 inches Brazilian water wave. I like it. You guys know how much I feel about water wave, wavy in general. I love that type of hair. Like, you know, got to do nothing. A girl love when she ain't got to do nothing. Like, yes. Okay. Okay. So I love you guys. Let me know what you think of this one right here. But I will see you guys in this soon to come video. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe, thumbs this video up. I love you guys. Make sure you, I think I said everything. But have a great weekend and I'll see you guys on the soon to come. Oh, 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 oh,